surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yodo of Essentials here Now this was a black dresser that was thrown away by someone It looks old but it's definitely something that I can work with So I took it home, removed all the drawers and properly cleaned it down And then I noticed the railings here were always off, so I'm guessing that was why it was thrown away. I replaced them back and it was okay. Now what I'm gonna do is to lightly sand down the whole thing, including the drawers, and wipe it down to get it ready for painting. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I knew the color that I wanted, but when I went to Home Depot to get it, they didn't have chalk paint in that color, so I had to go with the cards they had and then I got confused. I ended up with something close to teal and then they would have to mix it for me. So this was the color that I chose. And when they mixed it, they put it in a container like this. It's kind of blue, but it's close to the color that I wanted that's between blue and green. When using chalk paint, you don't really need to use a primer on your furniture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting. I used a small brush to touch the areas where the roller cannot reach. It's amazing to know that a furniture in such good condition was thrown away just because of the railings by the side that was falling off, which I fixed. And it's okay now to be used. So I already sanded all of the drawers down and now I'm gonna start painting them. first coat is dry, so now I'm going to go ahead and give it a second coat of paint. When everything was dry, I put the three drawers together. I'm trying to locate the middle to get a uniform midpoint for all three drawers. When I was done, I kept that aside and then I got decorative frames from Michael's craft store. Because I want it to come out shiny, I'm going to cover it up with gloss Mod Podge. And then when it's dry, I'm going to spray paint it using a gold spray paint. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can use a gloss spray paint after you've spray painted the pieces. 
Now I'm going to make sure that the positioning is right. And then after that, I'm going to glue it on with a strong adhesive and I'm going to be using an E6000 glue and then I'm going to be using a hot glue gun as well. I placed some weight there just to make sure that it stays flat and left it for some hours to dry and I did this for all three drawers. This is the drawer pool that I'll be using that I got from Home Depot. I got three and I spray painted them gold. I also spray painted the screws. When I was done, I repeated the same thing for the remaining two drawers. Now I got these decorative shapes online and they come two in a pack. I got two pairs and I covered it up with Mod Podge and I spray painted it gold. That's why it's so shiny. Now I had a problem with these decorative shapes because apparently there are two for each pack and they cannot just completely have four sides to look like this. Except I turn it the other way around and that won't work. So I was forced to just do it this way. So I'll be gluing them on the corners of the first drawer and the last drawer. Now to trick the eye and to compensate this opening here and here, I'll be using gems that I got from Hobby Lobby. When I was done with that, I cut singular gems to cover the screw heads. I then later decided to cover the drawer pulls with gems as well. Now because this color is different from most items that I have at home, I would need something to complement it. So I got this wood that I've had at home for a while and painted it, kept that aside, and then took the leftover baskets from a project that I worked on. As you can see on the top left, that's a project that I worked on and a lot of you were asking me for other uses for the baskets. So I'm going to reduce the sizes of these baskets and stapling it in. And then I'm going to go around with a hot glue gun to make sure the pieces stay together. I spray painted them gold. And then to attach these baskets to the wood, I had to remove a strip from one of the baskets. Spray painted it gold. And I'm going to be using that to attach the baskets to the wood. I 
I added two more baskets. This has an outdoor feel to it, so you can use this design to decorate the outside as well. I attached the hook at the back for hanging. You can put flowers inside, and this is what it looks like besides the dresser. I really love how this teal color mixed with gold turned out. I am so glad that I picked this up regardless of the railings that were bad because after I fixed it, I knew it had potential and I love the way it turned out in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.